let's talk about NFTs for a little bit. I know this is what you guys really want to talk about. We laughed at how Ubisoft failed. They launched their Quartz system. They made all of like 400 bucks on their fucking NFTs. So everyone's celebrating, right? Like, woo, NFTs are finally dead in gaming. Now we can move on. Now we can finally be over this shit and and, uh, just go back to making regular games. Am I right? Am I fucking right? I got bad news for you. NFT gaming platform Legacy by Peter Molyneux earns over $54 million so far. NFT gaming is not going anywhere. It's just that Ubisoft is fucking incompetent. They don't know how to do anything right. Peter Molyneux, veteran game developer behind games like Populous and the Fable series, and Black and White, that was probably my favorite, has uh, launched NFT gaming platform Legacy, a wildly bizarre crowdfunding campaign involving a virtual recreation of London where players can purchase digital plots of land. And he's already sold 54 million of them. Despite his obvious shortcomings, he clearly knows what he's doing. So when he saw his chance to jump on the NFT bandwagon, oh, he made bank. And a few years ago, he pretty much left the industry, too, because he got sick and tired of all the negative press. Like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you guys. I'm just going to take my money and go. Oh, but there's a chance to multiply my money. I guess I'm coming back. Molyneux's new NFT gaming platform Legacy uses the aforementioned NFTs, no non-fungible tokens. That's a token that that's uh, immune to fungus, apparently. that's uh, It's not going to get any fungal infections. You're not going to have mushrooms growing on your token. Uh, and cryptocurrency and is being developed with blockchain gaming company uh, Gala Games. Now, Gala Games... They are probably, uh, they're another guy to, they're, or oh, not guy, they're another company to watch along with, uh, with, with Embracer Group because Gala Games has a lot of these crypto NFT games under its umbrella that are actually, you know, a lot more further along than stuff like Earth 2, for example. So these, these guys, there, there might be a major player in a few years. Alongside 22 Cans Mall New Studio, within a week, players have invested over 50 million into purchasing over 4,500 digital plots of land. Legacy stands uh, to function as a VR chat style MMO with a cryptocurrency platform sort of hybrid experience. The currency itself is ran on the Ethereum blockchain and is named Legacy Coin and offers NFTs of various things like 3D dioramas or cityscapes. It can be used to run virtual businesses in the game and can potentially bring forth real life returns on investment. You guys want to know why NFTs are so big in gaming? You're literally selling the idea of, hey, all all of you guys that are just playing games 20 hours a day, doing nothing with your lives. Imagine if you could make money just sitting there 20 hours a day playing games. Wouldn't that be great? So NFT gaming is almost like the new Twitch and YouTube. Because as it's getting harder and harder to break into Twitch and YouTube, because that, that was the original, like, just make money playing games all day uh, deal. Now now they're going for these NFT games. Now, the game mechanics will function with a moral choice type ethos via The Verge. That's been uh, prevalent in all of his previous games. Now, I I like the whole, uh, you, know, you know, games that make you make moral choices. But all of Peter Molyneux's games, and and this this isn't just him. It's literally everybody else that has moral choices in their games every last one of them if you make the good choice you get temporarily inconvenienced and then at the end you get maximum benefits like you you actually get more benefit making the good choice than the evil choice and uh, so I, I know some of you are probably going to say like well but isn't that the method you want to send that being good pays off I mean, you can look at it that way, but what what motivation do you have to be evil then? It makes no sense. Like, now, really, it, it's it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a lot harder to go the good route. Now, evil usually e- the evil path is the easy one. So if you end up making the good path be the easier one, it, it literally just fucking kills the point. 
Now, certain events will occur in game that will sometimes uh, pit players against each other via moral quandaries that urge them to be more nice to each other or turn a bigger profit margin. <laughs> oh, like some of those random events in Master of Orion 3. Yeah, some of those some of those are pretty fun. As cheesy as the concept sounds, it oddly could work. Personally, though, the NFT inclusion angle makes me a bit nervous. I'm not very knowledgeable about them outside of bored monkey memes that uh, people repost on social media, all just to mock the idea of NFTs themselves. 22 Cans elaborated uh, on how the concept of it is to make a company town style of game that essentially could allow players to turn it into a real life job. Again, it's uh, sought uh, to be a building simulator mixed with the virtual component of a real company. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys do that. We'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, already fifty four million dollars. 